Hello, today I'm just going to be looking at a pair of Vans Errors or a pair of uh, Style 95s as they would have been called back then. These are a vintage made in USA pair from 1993. They're in a, a navy and mallard colourway. These obviously have been worn to death and not really looked after because the suede is really rough and I don't know, quite coarse. Whereas traditionally, you know, these, these shoes were made of really good suede, so they should be nice and smooth, but they're really rough and, and coarse. So they have uh, taken a lot of beating, they haven't really been looked after, which I guess is okay because they are built like tanks, but still they are not in the best shape. Uh, like I said, they are navy, it's kind of hard to tell. They actually look lighter on camera, they look a bit more like black in person. And this is navy, so I guess comparing it directly to that. And the sole is also black as well, it's got a black midsole. We've got this mallard colour, which is um, definitely faded a little bit from when they were new. I I've got pictures of these when they were brand new, so I'll throw up photos of them in their brand new condition. But definitely the um, this mallard greeny blue has definitely faded a little bit. So there's a paint stain there. Brilliant. We've got these uh, brass eyelets. They are from 1993. Uh, one reason you can sort of date them is because this vinyl heel padding, which is cracking. Uh, not sure what causes these cracking. Um, like I said, uh, you can tell they're from at least before 1994 because in 1994 they stopped using this vinyl heel pad, and this is why the uh, vaults and the Anaheims have this final heel pad is because that's how they had them back in the day and this I don't know if you've noticed but sometimes with Van the insole foam will wear away and this heel pad this final insert stops that from from wearing away let's have a look at the back yeah not in great condition let's look see this is actually coming out apart completely showing how the sausage is made but I would definitely have to glue that down Lack of a hill tower, which is a bit sad. I mean, for the sake of integrity as well, like structural inter integrity, they should really have a hill tab there. I mean, look at this hill tab there. That's where it would say Vans, made in USA. I'll throw up the real picture, or oh, sorry, <laughs> the um, the picture from when they were when they were new. Kind of a sad to see them in such a state, but um, they are shoes and they are meant to be worn, obviously. So I can't complain too much, and I'm going to continue wearing them because I'm uh, insane. They've got these rope laces. I, I don't know why some of the areas had rope laces and some don't. If you do know, please let me know. It appears um, all of the suede areas I have come with rope laces. Gum, gum waffle sole. I think uh, this person, the previous owner, probably dragged their heels a lot too much because you can see how much it's worn down here not worn down elsewhere partly due to how well these soles are made this like heavy dense gum you can tell I mean look at that wear there and the fact that this heel tab has come off completely I think they were a bit of a heel dragger which is very bad form if you do drag your heels you should try and fix that yeah not much to say, um, I, I'm not too sure what kind of suede, but it is a really good suede. They are dirty, if you let me, if you think I should clean them, let me know. Maybe I should buy like a Jason Marks kit or something like that. If you've got any tips to clean suede, let me know. If you've got any recommendations on gluing, fixing the, the back of these, because like it's just so easy for this midsole, this like foxing, this seam, to start wearing away, which I'm a little bit worried about. So I'm gonna, just buy some super glue but if you've got any good recommendations for work something that hold up in the weather let me know so yeah i'm gonna try them on feet now